So what's up guys? Yeah, I know it has been a long time since I have made a video and I had to make this one. Some of you guys might know exactly what you're looking at. A lot of you guys might be thinking, what the heck am I looking at? Now, some of you guys might know I've already featured this watch on this channel. But in the meantime, before we get to the watch and everything, I mean, how cool is it of what you're looking at right now? I think... It's extremely cool looking. What you're looking at is, is two highly collectible and rare items. They're actually supposed to be together exactly like they are in the video. And I've never seen a video on YouTube to feature both of these items together like that. It's either one or the other. They're either showing you the watch or they're showing you the yarn. Now, in the game, Snake has both. He doesn't just have one or the other. So it is cool, in my opinion, to have them both. I think that's really cool. And if it would have came this way, I'm sure it would have cost big money. You know what I mean? But man, it's, it's real cool to have both. I don't know if I'm going to display it somewhere. I haven't figured it out yet. I don't even know if I'm just going to take the batteries out of that watch and leave it alone. Because, you know, the watch actually came with a 10-year battery, and then it tells you... If you replace the battery, it goes to three year. So I think I'm going to have a video on that coming up. We'll see. We'll see. And since this is a watch channel, I mean, obviously you guys see the digital watch on the arm here. I have featured it in the channel before. Now it is a wired AGAM601. Now wired, they're a company that Seiko owns. Seiko was trying to flex wired as like this new thing for maybe not kids, but just like this new thing for like all the hip people to, to roll with that Seiko would kind of own in the distance. And it has a whole bunch of features. You know, you, you got your date here. It's telling you um, that it's November 4th. It's telling you that it's Saturday. It's, it's telling you. And then if you go to the different modes, there's a whole bunch of different modes. There's your stopwatch. There's your the no data thing. I'm actually not 100% sure what that is right out the gate. Um, there's just so much stuff on this watch. Now, Seiko only made 2,500 of these watches. And that's how rare it is to have one of those watches. Okay, It's so rare that if you own one of those watches, that would mean that you are 0 0.000000309 percent of the population that owns one of those watches. I mean, just how cool is that to be to own something that rare in like the collectors, all this collecting stuff, everybody collecting stuff you got. I mean, granted, I I own some Rolexes myself, so I'm not hating on any Rolex people. There's one right there, okay? But it's so cool to have something that rare. If you wear that to a bar, nobody is going to be having that watch on. And you could say that to anybody of how rare it is to have that watch. So that's pretty cool. Now, in-game, when you're playing Metal Gear Solid Five, you can use a cigar to help pass the time. And they definitely show off the watch when you do that. Check it out. I dressed up like Venom Snake at a convention. I mean, that outfit was so good. I was stopped by a little boy and he asked me to take a picture with him. I mean, that's how good that outfit was. And then, of course, I was stopped by this guy and wow, was he tall. I mean, I'm six foot three, six foot four. Wow, look how tall that guy is. That, that's just unbelievable. Cool stuff, right? Now we got to talk about this arm. The arm sitting here is the arm worn by Venom Snake in Metal Gear Solid 5. 
in the game, Venom loses his arm. So he has to get a new one, triggering this great cutscene. loved the music in that that is definitely one of my favorite games of all time to find a replica of it these arms are not cheap i mean everything on this thing all the the the, the fingers comes you know in its case and all that stuff this stuff is not cheap. Now, when you bought the game, when the game first came out, it came with these tiny little arms that said it was like a half of this size. I think it was more of like a third, maybe more of like a fourth. It definitely wasn't a full size arm like this because this is pretty spectacular. Then of course this arm comes with like a, like a thing to put up this side so you can just, oh, so you can display it vertically and we can mess with that a little later but you can't wear this arm you know you're not going to be able to just sit there and slide it up i wish you could i mean how cool would that be to just sit there and put it up there and then you could wear that watch start walking around you could go to mcdonald's or something and order something then you really could wear something that'd be pretty wild now, eventually, I am going to have to get a longer NATO strap because, believe it or not, if you've seen, if you've noticed, this thing, yeah, that NATO strap isn't long enough. Look at that. I've had to get a rubber band and use the last hole on this NATO strap and kind of tie it and put a knot to that. Pretty interesting there. I just couldn't. There's just no NATO strap that's long enough. It just doesn't work. So there was nothing I could do there. I mean, I just, I just couldn't believe that. I, I just, I had to show you guys the arm though, with the watch, the way it was in the game. I mean, again, I said it earlier, but there's so many videos of somebody either showing you this arm or somebody showing you this watch. There's another video of somebody showing you this arm. And then there's another video of somebody showing you this watch. But I've, again, I've never seen a video of somebody showing you both. Somebody showing you the arm wearing the watch like it was in the game. The way it's actually supposed to be. I've sent a picture. Basically the way you guys are looking at it right now. And I've sent a photo of this to a couple friends of mine and I've gotten some responses and those responses are like, wow, that is so cool to see the arm with the watch. And again, I mean, look, I'll have to see if I can do this right. Pull this down a little bit. I mean, that is 100% full size arm. I mean, it, <laughs> I can't even look at it. I can see the camera from here. I can't even look at it without smiling. It is so wild. Now I got to put it on that stand and show you guys how it looks on the stand 
with the watch while it's on that stand because I think it's pretty cool on that too. And there you have it, gentlemen. I mean, that is pretty vertical. It's pretty tall. The computer monitor back there is small, but I mean, that is a uh, pretty, uh, pretty wild stuff. I definitely, uh, definitely dig it. Definitely got to find a bigger NATO strap, like I said, and it's definitely nice to be making a video again. It's been a long time. Hope everybody out there is doing well. Glad you came to uh, check it out.